Hello, we are Blaine and Janae Russell, and we'd love to show you our tiny home. Welcome to the kitchen. I'll show you a few things around here that we like. Yeah, so we have these quartz countertops and we really like just the elegant touch that they put on the kitchen. They're really easy to clean and we just love the color. And um, this is our sink and it has a nice little nozzle that comes out so you can rinse out the sink. So I love having a deep sink in the tiny home. I do a lot of cooking so lots of dishes go through the sink. Um, one of the really neat features is that so we have a double trash can. So we have one just for the trash, and then we have a recycling bin as well in the back. And then really nice deep drawers for linens and things, and um, some more for containers. This is our upper cabinets. I have all my plates and water bottles and bowls and stuff in there. And then in these cabinets, we have more glasses and mugs and all things for coffee. We have more storage than we even need, and we definitely took that into consideration when doing the design process. Yeah, we have a full-size fridge and freezer in here, and it holds a lot of food. So usually go grocery shopping once a week, and it holds plenty for the two of us. Um, so since I knew I was going to be doing a lot of baking, I wanted a full-size KitchenAid, and I wanted it handy. So we like having it tucked in this little corner over here, and I use it a lot. And then lots of utensils. I love having the space for that, but it's still out of the way. Um, and then we love our propane oven and stove top, and it's big enough to do 9 by 13 pan, so that has been super nice. And then we have vent hood up here, and then just storage for tea and cookbooks and that kind of stuff up above. Yeah, so we're really glad we put the vent hood in because it helps keep the house cooler when you're boiling water or cooking different things. It also helps with the scent in the tiny house a little bit too. So one of the main things I like about this big area is just having a lot of countertop for cooking and um, it's usually full of things when I have a baking day. And then I really like these lower cabinets. I have a big instant pot, I have a juicer, I have a full size uh, food processor, waffle iron, like all the things that you'd normally think you couldn't fit in a tiny house. Um, but there's plenty of room for all that in here. So I wanted all my spices to be really handy and my husband Blaine came up with this great idea so there's no glass in front of it or anything you can just grab out your spices and then I have some different things in quart jars I use more often and then this is our pantry and so I have five gallon bucket down there and some two gallon buckets and then I make kombucha so that's there and then just all the other pantry items so lots of space there yeah so in the buckets we have oats and black beans and pinto beans so the things I use more of yeah, so this pull-up bar that we have in the kitchen is one of Blaine's favorite things, and I don't mind watching him do them either, so it's pretty fun. <laughs> so one last little feature in the staircase here is our utility cabinet, and then I just have some space for jars and cat food and things like that. So we chose this walnut uh, countertop here, just as another accent with the darker wood. And then you'd think living in a tiny house that you'd need to be minimal with your shoes, but we are not because we have this wonderful shoe storage cubby here. See, so yeah, I was a little hesitant at first about living tiny. But once we moved into the tiny house, I've really loved pretty much every part of it. Um, I think what's made me like it the most is just the amount of storage in the house because I like to cook a lot and can and we have a garden. Um, so the kitchen was the biggest thing to me. And so since I've had that space that's been really usable, I've been happy with the house. And I like the coziness of the loft and the elevator bed and um, it's just really been everything that we've needed. So for me, there haven't been a lot of cons. Yeah. No, there aren't, there aren't a lot of cons for us, um, but there are definitely a couple that you can't ignore. And first of all, I would say that is just um, if you like entertaining people, mm -hmm. um, 
I mean, you've pretty much got to wait till the weather's right so that everyone can be outside. So Especially little kids. Spring and fall get together. So if you like larger group gatherings, um, that's definitely a big con because it's definitely, it, it is difficult. Um, Welcome to our living room and office areas. Over here is our office <laughs> or desk. We've got a nice little floating desk here with a rollout keyboard and um, mouse in there. And then uh, we're wedding photographers, so we do a lot of photo editing. Um, so we've got our editing console here and plenty of storage up above here with these cubbies. And we like listening to our tunes all the time, so we've got some speakers up there. We also have a lot of office storage in these stairs. We've got some steps here. Um, we've been cleaning things out, but for demonstration at least, here we are. We've got some of these steps that open up, and then we also have these drawers in the faces of the stairs. And then moving into the actual living room here, uh, we also use it as our dining room and as another workspace with our laptop. We have the table here. Couches have storage built in. These are really nice deep drawers. They each have three drawers, as well as a cubby underneath the cushion. And then there's another vertical cubby behind these cushions. And then of course we have all the shelving in the back of the living room. All of our board games, card games, we love uh, especially Dominion. We love uh, playing games in the evening. So we built this uh, tiny home ourselves. I built it with the help of my dad and a couple of my brothers. So it has evolved a little bit over time as well. These shelves that you see in the back of the living room used to be a Murphy bed and we tore that out recently, put it in the shelves and we love the layout. We have a lot more storage, uh, but we still have this elevator bed up above. Uh, all of the window finishings here uh, were actually made by Janae, my wife. Before we were married, when I was building the house, uh, she wanted something she could do to chip in uh, before we got married. And so she made those curtains and did a great job. Really finishes the windows out nicely. Our mini split and HRV unit are up here at the top of the wall. And we have a 9000 BTU Pioneer mini split. If I were to start from scratch with this home again, I would probably put in a 12,000 BTU unit and probably go ahead and spend the extra money on a Samsung or a Mitsubishi or something like that. When the, when the days are getting hotter here in summer and we get this western sun uh, hitting the house head on, uh, it definitely can get a little bit warm um, and the extra juice from a 12,000 BTU would really come in handy. <laughs> So a uh, nice uh, aesthetic point to the house here when you're in the living room sitting on the couches or on the bed um, is this beautiful beam going across at the top. Of course, it um, houses the ceiling fan, but it also gave us a way to run all of our electrical across from one side of the house to the other when we were building. So um, designing that in was uh, not just for aesthetics, uh, but also very practical and made our job a lot easier when we were building it. So those are good things to be thinking about. Yeah, so we have a lot of people ask us if we ever feel like we're too close to each other in a tiny house and if we need more space, but we really love being together. Um, he works away from home part of the time, and so whenever he's home, I just want to be with him, and he feels the same way. So we really enjoyed living in a tiny space, and he can work on the computer, and I can be making dinner, and we can still have conversation, and yeah. you definitely couldn't do that in a larger house. Yeah, so that's yeah really we, nice. we still have separate spaces and separate things that we're doing. Um, mm -hmm. But we like that even when we're not spending time with each other specifically, we're still near each other. And um, mm -hmm. I think that's uh, been a really foundational part of our marriage the, the first couple of years here, so. Mm -hmm. So before we take you upstairs to the loft, uh, we'll go ahead and show you the bathroom. So most people are surprised uh, when they walk into our bathroom because it's actually quite spacious. We've got 
everything packed into here. We have a nice shower with uh, sliding glass doors. Over here we have our hampers and of course um, the floating shelves for our towels and, and such. And then uh, we have a double level vanity here. Um, so got a nice set of, a nice bank of drawers here in the corner. Here we have our uh, composting toilet. This is a sea head composting toilet. And we also have this storage for um, all the composting medium and uh, anything associated with the toilet goes there. We uh, usually change the compost medium every five days or so. That's kind of the sweet spot we found for the two of us with the sea head. The sea head toilet is really nice because instead of adding compost medium every time you use the toilet, um, it actually has this little stir stick here and you fill it with composting medium uh, when you have a clean bucket. And then every time you use it, you just use this little paddle to spin the contents in the bucket just a few times and then you're done. So we find that a lot easier than having to get a scoop out and throw the composting medium all over the bathroom every time. And it also has a urine diverter. And so behind me and behind these curtains is where we keep our full size washer and dryer. Not a combo unit, we heard a lot about um, people having issues with uh, the drying cycles, um, not really getting their clothes dry enough, or um, just lots more maintenance versus a standard washer and dryer. So we made sure to design in a space for these. And on the other side, we have quite a bit of hanging clothes storage. Again, we try our best to be minimal minimalists, but um, well, we do our best. And we have a clothes hamper and some extra hats and scarves and things and a tote down there. We also keep our broom in this closet. And um, we'll admit the closets can be a little cluttered in a tiny house, uh, but we try to keep up with it, not let the mess build, and, uh, and it hasn't been too much of a problem. With my dad doing remodel for a long time when I was growing up, um, I remember uh, watching him draw out floor plans. And so I started designing houses uh, way back then at 10 years old, or I don't even know. But so I've always kind of been fascinated with designing my home. And uh, that went through a lot of iterations, but I, I was obsessed with natural building for a while. and hobbit hole type stuff and um, so I guess that that got me thinking more in terms of small spaces or unusual spaces unique um, surroundings and um, so eventually I stumbled on some YouTube videos and some tiny house doers and something just clicked with me and I thought well that's affordable and looks like my kind of space so um, I talked to Janae about it, and at first she thought I was probably a little wonky. I hadn't heard about the tiny house movement as much, so it was new to me. So it took me a little while to warm up to it. But we wanted to start marriage debt free too, and didn't want to have to pay rent, and so it was definitely the best option for us. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it, it um, allowed us to get a much, uh, much easier start together. Um, taking control of our finances and our living condition, I guess, right off the bat. Mm -hmm. So that's been a huge blessing. Yeah, and saved a lot of stress. For yes. Sure too. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Welcome to our loft. We really love this space because if one of us just wants to get away for a little while and have more of a quiet place while the other person's downstairs, they can come up here and read or you know, just be on their phone, watch a movie, that kind of thing. Um, so it's really handy to have this separate cozy space up here. So we have clothes storage in both of those little baskets on each side and then in the blue containers as well. And so all of just folded t-shirts and jeans and pants and anything like that. And then we have floating shelves on either side and we just keep books up there. And then we have our lights. And then we have another HRV unit up top so that it'll work with the other one and bring in fresh air from each side. 
And then we have a nice little bean bag area there for reading and for playing music. All right, so we love this area just because it also divides this room from the rest of the house. It kind of feels a little bit separate. And if you do use this as your bedroom, then you have a little bit of space if there is company staying downstairs or something like that. Um, and then we use this for clothes storage. We have socks and folded t-shirts and other things like that in each of these drawers. And then we have books here and then just places for jewelry. And we really love plants, so we like this area to kind of showcase them. Okay, so here we are on the outside of the tiny house. It's built with wood structurally, and then it's finished with LP smart siding. The trailer is one I had custom made for the tiny house. It's a three axle trailer with a 21,000 uh, pound weight rating. Over here is where we have our propane connection. So our hot water and the stove are propane. Both of those 100 pound tanks full, I can make it through a little bit over a year using the stove and the water heater. So we feel like that's pretty good um, and it makes it pretty easy to gauge when I need to refill them. So I also just wanted to mention uh, our source of power. So we are on solar power, but we decided uh, rather than installing all of our panels and equipment on the house, I decided to save the space in the house and just install our own array back here. Now this is oversized, uh, but it's allowing us to uh, expand or uh, have a little bit of flexibility in what we put on this lot in the future. And we have this nice view over our little garden that we've started. All right, so once we got the tiny house settled, we decided that we wanted a nice outdoor space to enjoy because we love being outside. And since Blaine's grandparents own a marble business, they had all this extra scrap that we got for free. So we just had to load it up and bring it here. And we had some nice big pieces that we're able to use as well for the grill because we like grilling. And then we really enjoy this nice seating area around the fire pit here as well. We love having company out here too. It gives us more space than just what's inside the tiny house. So if we have couples over that have kids, this is a little more flexible as long as it's a nice evening. So if you'd like to see more of our work uh, with our custom tiny home uh, business, then you can feel free to check us out on Instagram or Facebook. We are Cornerstone Tiny Homes. Um, we also have a website that's cornerstonetinyhomesok.com. Um, and we'd love to chat with you about working through a design or even just answering questions about what it's like to live in a tiny house and if it's even a fit for you. Um, regardless, uh, you can get in touch with us from our website, find contact info on there, and look through galleries of some other homes. Thanks for coming and touring our home. We hope you enjoyed it and we'd be happy to answer any questions if you have any. So you're welcome to reach out to the contacts that he mentioned earlier. Absolutely. Yeah. Thanks guys.